Well, good afternoon and welcome to Mario Romero's video. Uh, today I have Gail Devers in, right at the Franklin Fire Police High School. So I'd like to introduce you to her and uh, tell us a little bit about why you do what you do, what brought you here. Okay. Um, I have been a public school teacher since 2003. I taught at Alhambra High School in the Phoenix Union High School District. And seven years ago, uh, the principal here uh, and I worked together at Alhambra and he reached out to me uh, to come take a look at Franklin. And I did. And I fell in love with the school and I decided to transfer here the next year. Mm -hmm. I'm an English teacher here and Coming from a school of 3,000 to a school of 300 was a really big change for me. Um, but what I have found is that this school is an opportunity for me to do more than just be an English teacher, to do uh, more work that I'm equally passionate about, which is service to others and community service. Now, it is a full, full high school, correct? Yes, sir. We are a full public high school. Um, we, our students, um, the only difference is that our students are choosing their electives to be uh, fire or law. So instead of dance or PE or ceramics or art, our students come to a school where they take their regular classes, English, math, science, etc. but their electives are specialty in the law or the fire program. Now, under, you say there's 300 students and it is a 501c within the high school system. Yes. So, what kind of e events are there? It's set up. I know it's set up. And we go outside. You've got the two the tall building where you've got. Do you have fire trucks in there? No. Okay. We do have a lot of fire equipment, though. Fire equipment. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so the original building that we're in right now is a historic building. Mm -hmm. It was a school from the 20s that uh, was abandoned as you know, as a member of this community. And Phoenix Union bought it, re uh, remodeled it, and opened it up, I can't remember, early 2000s, I mm. think it was. And then this building behind us was built later, and it's modeled after a fire station. They have the bay doors that come up, and inside of that building is a full, uh, like a fire academy mm -hmm. so much. There's okay. a turnout room where the students all have their gear, their lockers, it looks very much just like the a fire academy would look. And then upstairs is the law program where our students have uh, gun belts uh, with modeled uh, and weighted guns, uh, handcuffs, and a taser that they wear. They have interactive uh, programs that they do. Um, so our students are learning hands-on the law program and hands-on the fire program. And then they're also doing the academic piece, which is the dual enrollment piece with Phoenix College, and the students are taking college classes both in fire and law at the same time. And because it is a very specialized, kind of like a technical school yes. for, for, the, for these uh, skills, you're open to the entire valley? Yes. Okay, because yes. you're not limited by the city that you... We are not. We have students come from Mesa, Levine, Avondale, Tolleson, they come from all over. It's uh, open enrollment is what it's called. Okay, and if you were to graduate in one of the programs, what's the next step for, you said, you had told me earlier that you, they have to go become an EMT. Correct. To kind of jump start into the other. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the police, you have to be 21, <laughs> which it conflicts when you gra graduate from school because you're 17 and 18, so you've got those <laughs> three years to figure out what the next step. What to do. Right, so we do have some students a lot of our students go on to university okay. regardless um, because some kids have different goals and dreams. They want to do forensics, they want to do uh, FBI, they want to do health mm -hmm. uh, in the health field. Okay. So for the FIRE program it's an easier jump because they can go to Phoenix College upon graduation, get their EMT credit, and then they're, they're pretty much ready to apply to the uh, FIRE department. Okay. For the law students, like you say, it's different. So a lot of our students will go get a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, criminal studies, and then apply to the police academy. But some students will do corrections, some students will do the military, and pursue uh, law or fire in the military. Okay. So kids take all different paths that come here. Um, 
I would say most of them have some interest in pursuing these, but then we have kids who are absolutely gung-ho going to pursue. And most of the kids coming here want to be here. Yes. So, absolutely. and they come from all over the valley. Mm -hmm. Now, how difficult is it to get into the programs? So our students do go through a fairly rigorous program. <laughs> they have an application that they have to fill out. Their seventh and eighth grade records are turned in, scoured over for mm -hmm. behavior, academics. They have to write an essay. They have to have an interview. Their parents have to have an interview. And they do take a couple placement exams just so we know where to place them Spanish okay. or English wise. But I would say the most difficult part for a young kid is an interview. And they do, they do a really good job. So. So being, I know you've got a lot of needs for the organization. Can you tell us what my audience, people out there can do to help you out? Yes. So our students, um, it's a Title I school. So what a Title I school means is that our students receive free and reduced lunch in a federal program. Okay. So that means that they're qualifying financially for a free breakfast and a free lunch every day. So our students are coming here with financial need. Okay. And part of our, our school is that they are required to wear a uniform. The uniform itself is very expensive. I would say a couple hundred dollars to a hundred dollars per year a mm -hmm. parent would spend on everything from the pants to the socks to the shoes to the belt to the shirt, etc. Mm -hmm. And then what we do as student government is we try to supplement what a large school would do. And we try to give our students and our families a full experience. Okay. So as you can see from this program, we are working to provide our families with food, with hygiene. We can give mattresses. I've delivered mattresses to our students' homes before because our families do, do have need. So we are continuously looking for donations, mm -hmm. primarily for food and hygiene programs. Uh, products because those are the things that go the fastest okay and this food pantry that we have here is both a grab-and-go so families and parents can come in and grab and go and take food or and or we do food boxes periodically throughout the years for holidays or for days off because a lot of our students eat pr their primary meals here at school okay. so breakfast and lunch they eat here and that means they just have to get dinner when they're off school for spring break, fall break, we worry about them. Right. And our students here are um, community service based and they ha have learned to care for each other in that way. And so I try to teach, I'm teaching the, the students to give back to each other. So we really have created an open door policy where students can come and get clothing, shoes, anything that they need. And we've worked really hard over seven years to, to get rid of the shame and the embarrassment. Mm -hmm. And now we've gotten to a place where a student will go to another student and say, I need food. Or they will come to me okay. and ask. So you heard that. <laughs> you know, give, give, give. And for all my realtor friends out there, this is a great opportunity to get involved with the community. Now, Thank you very much for spending your time with us. Thanks for having me. And I uh, hope everybody has paid attention. <laughs> if To all my clients, all my friends, if you want additional information, my number is 602-920-0306. Again, thank you very much for the opportunity, thank you. and have a terrific day. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>